Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Nightly Maintenance with your girl, you dig. Um, so I've been doing this for about, uh, I don't know how long it's been, like a week now, but this is what I've been doing. This is my nightly maintenance. Uh, some might say it's a lot, some may say it's not enough, but this is what I've been doing and it's been working so far. So first thing first you want to do is you want to hit the, like you're going to replace your ink. Right? Yep. Slide to the left. Let that thing do the cha cha slide. And then, what I got here, I got my box of cleaning carts that I keep swapping out between my other carts. So, these are my cleaning carts. So, you basically just want to uh, have your cleaning carts filled up and switch them with your color carts. Y'all know how we do. Yeah, they. I ain't going to hold y'all too long with this maintenance. We're going to make this real quick tonight. But, um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch the carts. Uh, I'm gonna switch out the carts and I'll be right back. Yeah, All right, so before I put the cleaning cart in, I do go ahead, um, when I pull that nozzle out, I do go ahead and clean around that nozzle. Kind of just, you know, dab her. Any ink I see. But yeah, just want to throw that in there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> all right, once you got all your cleaning carts in, you just want to hit the ink button. Let it do its thing. And uh, when it come back, after it finishes um, uh, doing this whole thing, after you change the cartridges or whatever, I can't think of what it's called right now. Um, you want to run two head cleaners. At least that's what I do. I go ahead and run two of them things with the clean with the cleaning solution in the carts. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Y'all don't gotta see all that. You know how to do print head clean. We so we'll be back after all that happened. Yeah, it is. All right. So now the printer then went through two cycles of print head cleaners. So right now we're ready to do a little manual cleaning. Yeah, it is. So you want to hit the ink button. You know what I mean? Fade it out real quick. And then you unplug your printer like so. So now you can do the electric slide with that bad boy. Yeah, it is. So, first thing I want to do, well, the first thing that I always do, take a paper towel. And I fold it long ways like that. Make it nice. Make it as flat as possible. Then I take I take some of my cleaning solution. My syringe sound like really weird and dry. Okay. Alright. So now I have saturate not saturated but i've soaked this basically in the cleaning solution i put a lot more on this end because i want it to be really flat so my um so my print head can just slide across it now today we're just gonna uh once a week i let the print head go ahead and sit on the paper towel with this with the cleaning solution on it but today we're just gonna clean it versus uh letting it sit because i already did that this week um i usually try to do that on sundays shout out to matt the goon that said he do his maintenance on sundays so anywho uh hold on i'm just i'm doing my maintenance video okay. um so uh when you're looking at the printer all the way to the left on this 2880 there's an extra piece of sponge all the way to the left. Where's my light here? Now, if you're looking at your printer, you'll see what I'm talking about. I can't really move the camera right now. Hold up, yes, I can. Let's see. Can't really see it. Let's... Right there. 
there is a little piece of spongy, like a little landing pad. And that's just another place for your print head to kind of wipe ink off the bottom. So I take the saturated, the end of this saturated paper towel, just push down on it just to pick up any straight ink that's left in this pad. That way it don't like build up and gunk up and all that good stuff. Yeah, indeed. So I do that. And then I like to lay my paper towel kind of under my rollers a little bit. And if I see any ink on my rollers, I wipe it off with that paper towel. Push down on the pad a little bit. Get any excess ink that's on the bottom. Try to keep it nice and pristine in here. You did. Then that's when you want to gently slide your print head over. So you can see, you know, a paper towel on both sides, which I can, which I can see. Then I take, and I gently rub it, side to side. You see, I gently do that thing. I ain't being rough with it. Gently rub it just a couple times. Lay that back down. And I just let her hang out and sit there for a minute while I come over here to the right side of my printer. It did. So now I'm over here with my capping station and things. So I clean up any ink I see in here. So um, I usually have I usually have my little square cleaner thingamajigs, the square Q-tips, the foam ones, but I'm out right now. So I'm using Q-tips, but I got these like organic cotton ones. So they don't shed like the other ones are pretty good, but I do use uh, on a normal basis, the square ones the square phone ones. I'll put a link in the description to where you can get some of those at. But yeah, so I just go in here, any ink I see, I just kind of start going at it with a Q-tip, a dry one first. Just why, you know, anywhere it look like ink not supposed to be, I'm cleaning it up. You know what I mean? Cause ink gets everywhere. You don't want it getting all hard getting mechanisms and in between crevices and things. You dig, messing up stuff. You want it to stay clean. It's like a car, you know, you gotta take care of it. We we'll go with the wiper blade. Now, I've seen, and I know that you can push down on this wiper blade with the screwdriver and it'll lift up and you can clean it that way. Let me tell y'all something. I'm super nervous to do that only because I had so much trouble with the 15,000. I do not want to do anything to break this printer. So I still clean my wiper blade, but I clean it without moving it. I just go down while it's still in position and clean it from the side versus popping it up. I'm eventually pop it up, but right now that's the the way I feel comfortable doing it. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to see somebody, like I saw it on YouTube where you can flip it and clean it really good. All right, now take a little bit of cleaning solution and just keep cleaning anywhere I see ink, y'all. It's just a bunch of ink in here. And it's going, you know what I mean? It's going to be a little minute. But honestly, if you do it every night, the easier it'll be because, you know, your printer's not constantly building up. So your maintenance should become easier, honestly. You're not going to have it looking like brand new. I just I just do it till I feel comfortable, like, that it's, it's not enough ink to stay in there jam up something. Yeah, it is. Be careful. I hate that I keep hitting that. Be careful when you're in your printer, man. Don't touch nothing. You ain't got no business touching. Just get in there. Do what you got to do and get up out of there now. So like I said, I ain't trying to get her looking it's brand new, but just want to keep her maintained. All right, so now I'm going to go. I'm going to clean the wiper blade. Like I said, you normally would, I get so nervous messing with this. You normally would, you know, just take a screwdriver, push it back. But I just run it where it's sitting on the side of it. And I can still get it really good. So you want to clean your wiper blade. What you doing now? Nice and easy, George and Wheezy. Anywhere I see ink, be very gentle over here in this area. My flashlight. I can see ain't no gunk left on that wiper blade. I'll do one more little 
and clean up white with a dry in. Just double check, cover real good. And we good. Okay, all right. So now, on to the cap. Cap, cap, cap station, no cap. No, for real, but it, it is cap, I guess, because whatever. All right, so I take a syringe full of the cleaner solution and I fill up each side. Now, don't overfill it. Just fill it to it, get to the rim. I go really slow. I, I just kind of let drops fall out of my syringe until it fills up. That way no ink dries up in there, you know. You don't want to go over the edge. Do not go over the edge. Like so. Take a paper towel. Dab that bad boy. Now look, when you do this, please be gentle because if you do it too hard, you can, it's a spring up under this ca uh, capping station. You don't want to bust that string. Excuse me. You don't want to bust that spring because then it's going to pop out. So you're going to have to put it back together, which is hard, or pay somebody. Anybody got time for it? It's just be gentle, but at the same time, get her clean. <laughs> you dig? So I do that a couple times until my paper towel becomes the cleanest that I feel like I can get it. So I'll fill it up one more time. Go ahead and just. That looks pretty good, actually. So I do that. Nice and easy, George and Wheezy. All right, so I just wanted to show you, I, I, I slid the print head over and this is what the paper towel was looking like. So, being that my paper towel looks like that, I'm gonna leave this one overnight just to make sure. So yeah, I'm gonna leave that one up there because it's, you know, if it didn't look bad, like it, when, sometimes when I do it, it don't be a lot of ink up there because I didn't print a lot. I printed a lot today, so um, I'm gonna let her soak tonight. And, uh, yeah, that's my nightly maintenance, man. That's literally all, guys. It's, uh, it's preventative maintenance. It'll, I, I believe this process is helping my machine not clog. Um, it's going to be updates um, on this journey with this new printer. So everything right now is just me doing it, testing everything out for the first time. I'm not an expert. So for all you people in the comments, you know, you shouldn't be messing with machines you don't know about. I like to learn, sir, madam, whoever you are. Um, don't be so mad. I love you all. To the next one. I'm out. Like a light. Yeah, Maintenance.